Here at Big South Media Day with Campbell men's basketball head coach Kevin McGeehan. Kevin, your team is the reigning regular season champions. The expectation has been set for this program. What are you expecting out of your club here in 2019? Well, you know, I think the one thing that has been a constant since we started practice, even all the way back to uh, preparing for our trip, uh, is the competition level is super high. Um, but I think there is an expectation that, you know, we win basketball games at Campbell now. Um, and I think that the the group that left us left us a great legacy to follow um, but we have some serious competition at positions and um, really f the depth with like throughout the group um, you know one through 12 or 13 is, is is really strong and so I think when that happens you know you you naturally have more competition because it, there's not a lot of separation um, in the ability or a talent, although there might be different strengths and weaknesses, like everybody's pretty good. And I think that's really um, helped us compete on a daily basis. We've kind of changed some things around in the way that we prepare in order to uh, continue to encourage and um, sort of foster that, that spirit of competition and practice. Corey Gensler is one of your main seniors, also Trey Spencer on this team. How do some of those guys, along with the returners, help motivate and guide these young freshmen getting adjusted to college basketball? You know, I think we, we talk a lot about just being an elite communication team, you know, um, and I think that those guys are all wonderful kids and hard workers and, and great teammates. Uh, so with that, you get an automatic, which is uh, lead by example, right? And so now we're, we're also just encouraging and, and, and really kind of almost demanding of them that there's more vocal leadership, and we've seen it. Uh, you know, increase daily, and I think it is going to be a strength in the end. Um, and I think one of the things about, um, you know, our senior class last year, both Chris and Andrew were tremendous players, um, but they weren't super vocal kind of people on the court. And so, although great personalities, I think you always take your lead from the top a little bit and so um, I think we just have a new mix and I think we know that in order for us to be successful we're going to have to be together and we're going to have to communicate well um, on both sides of the ball and and, um, and I think that will lead to, to, to success. And certainly for this season it starts with a fun non-conference schedule the likes of Coastal, UNCW on the road. What are you hoping to learn from your club in these first two months to gear up for a big south conference play? Um, you know I mean I think every time you get out on the court it's an opportunity to to, to evaluate, to see where you're at. Um, obviously, we, we've taken on some really good regional competition this year. I think that's an exciting part and maybe a little bit different than we've had in the past. Um, almost all of our games are either in state or in region against good competition. I think that's fun. It's fun for our fan base, uh, people that know the, you know, the Citadels and the Wilmingtons and the Elons and, and, and these schools, even like Jacksonville, who used to play in the old Ace Sun, was a was a rival. Um, those kind of games mean something to our fans, and I think that'll that'll encourage a different kind of you know viewership or, or fandom um, this year. But I think anytime you get out there, you're you're just trying to get a little bit better, really evaluate where you are, um, and you know I think with this team in particular, we're going to have. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to morph and change as the year goes on based on um, us being able to sort of spread the wealth or, or you know, be more evenly distributed. And that, that could mean um, points, rebounds, and assists. It could also mean minutes at, at different times, depending on who's playing well or um, you know, obviously who's healthy and all that kind of stuff. But um, I think we have that luxury for the first time since I've been a coach. It certainly seems like there's an excitement from this staff and almost an energy about working with this group and, and a challenge of having a different type of roster, but trying to see what you can get out of a very balanced and, and deep team. For sure. Uh, that's, you know, I think probably when I started coaching, I, I would have envisioned coaching this type team more so than the teams we've had the last few years. And I wouldn't take back anything, but um, just a more more even distribution of everything. Um, uh, you know, I don't I don't think that we'll be um, a heavy load on 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 any one statistical category from anybody. I think it'll be very much more. And to be honest, when 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 we go scout 
uh, opponents and, you know, you're getting into your sixth and seventh game and, you know, you look at, I don't know, some team that you're, you're playing against and, and it's, the minutes are very well distributed and the points are very well distributed and you have nine, eight, nine, ten guys on the scouting report, it kind of pulls you away from a, a, a focus, which has, is always a challenge for me when we're when preparing my team. Um, and I'm hoping that we can create that for somebody else. Well, Coach, it's certainly exciting to see and just a week away from the regular season. So best of luck and thank you for the time today. Thank you.